you guys back here so sometimes you need to challenge yourself to do something out of the ordinary and uh, what i mean by that is uh, uh, today right uh, great weather outside uh, 74 degrees 75 degrees uh, uh, i i collected all the dead leaves that were lingering around that were accumulated for last couple of months as a part of uh, weather change uh, wind and whatnot uh, so what had happened right uh, you must have noticed in your houses too that a uh, lot of as a part of the fall season right leaves come down and then they get accumulated uh, in the various crevices and the corners uh, uh, outside your house so maybe there might be a space between your fence and your uh, outside wall or there could be a space in between your outside air conditioning unit uh, and the fence and the exterior of your house so there are like at least four or five places uh, in my house uh, outside where i had found there were like a ton, tons and tons of dead leaves uh, got accumulated and uh, uh, today i put the pedal to the metal and completely uh, 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 kind of collected that uh, uh, I, I had about like four or five uh, garbage bags uh, big uh, black uh, garbage bags uh, full of dead leaves uh, right and uh, in the event right I ended up saving about $200 and what I mean by that is um, uh, I had reached out to one of our handyman and he said that yes I can do that but uh, uh, you have to pay me $200 and then I wondered for a while, like, why do I have to pay $200? Uh, there is no, nothing wrong if he's asking that because there is a lot of labor involved in there. Uh, $200 in never, never there is a lot of money if you think about it, right? From one angle, um, from the other angle, $200 is really not a whole lot of money, right? Because if you um, repurpose that time to, to do something, uh, uh, something creative, something useful, then you can perhaps uh, get a good ROI, right? And that was the dilemma that I was in. And I said, no, I'm going to do it by myself, right? Um, and um, I was outside about like three or four hours. Uh, uh, I practically wore the gloves and then collected with my hands all those leaves and everything, right? So there are a couple of points uh, that, that um, came into my mind as a part of this yard work, outside yard work that I was doing, right? Uh, uh, in the entrepreneurship circles, right, there is a big speed argument, right? Uh, and the idea here is that, uh, there were two ideas behind that uh, argument, right? The first idea is that um, if you act fast and if something doesn't go right, right, you can always revert back. So that's one side of that speed argument. The other side is that many a times as entrepreneurs, right, we keep on uh, holding off on certain things, right? Maybe it is like uh, launching your podcast, revamping your website or creating a new website or getting like new business cards done, right? You name it, right? Launching your sales funnel or um, launching your first Google campaign or Facebook ad, right? The list goes on and on, right? And the idea with the speed argument is that uh, taking an imperfect action is a lot, lot more better than not taking any action at all. And many a times uh, as entrepreneurs, we have a tendency to uh, remain uh, as a part of in, in that idle mode or inaction mode, right? And that was one idea that was floating into my mind, right? Because we are so attuned uh, to that, right? Um, and I said, hey, why do I to, um, do that a task by myself, right? Maybe I should just uh, uh, hand off that $200 and uh, get that activity done. That way I can focus on one thing, right? But at the same time, right, while this idea has some merit behind that, right, at the same time, as I started my video, right, you sometimes need to learn to do something out of the extra, out of the ordinary, right? You need to shatter those monotonous patterns that are going on into your brain, into your daily routine and whatnot, right? So that was one of the reasons why I decided to roll up my sleeves I wanted to break the pattern, weather was great outside, about 75 degrees and whatnot, right? Uh, gorgeous weather. Uh, I cannot ask for something more than that, right? 
and yes uh, th th there was going to be uh, some uh, physical labor involved but uh, i prepared myself rolled up my sleeves collected those bags right uh, so the other thought right the, so i talked about the speed argument the other thought is that uh, if you think about it right how difficult is it for us to earn the money right the money doesn't uh, come from uh, anything from skies right uh, we don't have like a money printing machine right so if you think about from that perspective right uh, there is a lot of sweat time energy resources involved in earning the revenues right uh, and um, uh, so earning the money earning the revenues is certainly a skill at the same time maybe even more important than that right uh, once you earn a dollar right how do you retain that dollar how do you sustain how do you keep that uh, those money that you are earning right that is even more important that requires yet another skill set right so 200 dollars uh, is a big is a lot of money from the other angle right from one angle if you go with the speed argument uh, yes maybe you can do more constructive things within that 3 or 4 hour thing and get even more roi right the other idea about why i decided to do this because uh, uh, earning money is not a joke it does require a lot of talent lot of energy and it does uh, require even more uh, uh, skill set to retain that dollar right and of course uh, i wanted to break the pattern right uh, and um, the idea here is that you need to keep in mind that uh, at the end of the day it is up to you what is right what is wrong right but many a times you will invariably find that the more you uh, try to get away from your day to day pattern right the the more it allows your brain uh, uh, to become much more uh, aligned with what you are trying to do right i hope it making sense right so uh, many a times if you stay constrained within your 9 to 5 or 9 to 9 uh, with the same work environment same desk and what not right your brain is kind of attuned to that right uh, but if you break that pattern right uh, your brain is going to going to get much more uh, creative much more uh, stimulating uh, and you will come up with lot many great ideas that is going to help you out even earn more money so that's exactly what happened with me today so as i was spending like three or four hours outside there were so many other creative ideas popped up into my mind i jotted it down now so i hope um, so i'm, I'm going to sign off right now so a um, couple of things right um, always think about the speed argument there is a merit to that but at the same time don't be afraid uh, to break out of your mold don't be afraid to be more uh, sometimes more disruptive and especially when the weather is uh, gorgeous uh, outside try to come out right uh, try to get your mind more creative right uh, think about uh, uh, rhythm right uh, so if you think about uh, uh, an overall overall year right uh, there is a spring there is a summer there is a fall and then there is um, uh, spring summer fall and winter right so there is some kind of harmony there is some kind of cycle going on right so entrepreneurship uh, is like that right it is not gonna uh, happen overnight uh, you need to learn to enjoy the process it is a marathon in many ways right uh, yes you may be able to achieve certain uh, good wins as a part of the sprints but um, it is al always going to be up and down it, it is not going to be a straight line or horizontal line right so learn to enjoy the process learn to enjoy the moment learn to capture the moment right and uh, your mind will thank you your brain will thank you and you yourself will feel great stimulated motivated energized uh, so signing off for now try to find uh, some good ways uh, uh, that will allow you to get even more bang for your buck uh, in lot of subtle ways right so that would be my last message to you uh, feel free to like my uh, video subscribe to my uh, channel spread the word i'll be more obliged if you do that signing off for now talk to you later have a great day bye bye